포, 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 uh, Tony Daniels art. Boom. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, pretty much just promoting the graphic novels. But I love how he draws uh, Wonder Woman. So, Well, his art. His art in general, really. Uh, another poster that I got that I love and I hope to get signed at Comic-Con. Which I'm pretty sure they're going to be handing out some more. So... Uh, hopefully I could grab a couple, send it out to a couple of you guys out there. This, this bad boy. I can just hold it up like this. Oh, like this. Suicide Squad. Uh, art by Jim Lee. Uh, Scott Williams, Adam St. Clair, that whole squad, pretty cool, looks pretty nice, uh, I don't have the number one, at least I don't think I do, maybe I do, but uh, I love getting these posters and I love getting them signed, so I hope to get some of these signed for Comic Con, because I have a ticket for Sunday, hopefully I can get another one, and not be super stressed out. For some signatures. Um, doing the video on a different spot this time. Got the Mickey Mouse throw going in the back. Since uh, we were at WonderCon. It's right across from Disneyland. We picked up this little. Uh, what is this? This little litho. Little poster. Print. I love the art on it. Uh, the blockiness animated feel I couldn't get the person's signature but ooh. there you go Gracie Lou but hopefully they're at uh, Comic Con this year so that I could get it signed by them uh, lastly I got uh, the franchise and Brian Turner uh, they're doing this little thing uh, for those of you that don't know them they worked at Boom uh, Boom Studios doing uh, fanboys versus zombies and a couple other stuff so they're working on this book now or they're trying to get this book launched and I love their print I love his art uh, Jerry Gaylord his art is just screaming 90s I love it I love how he draws Wolverine and Jubilee Bishop and Cable uh, I don't like what's going on with Rogue right there but I mean Cyclops looks sick I'm actually a big Cyclops fan from the 90s all the X-Men really but yeah so this is my little haul video uh, didn't get too much stuff but I'll just go ahead and start showing it uh, two little capes from, what was this, Hero, Nerd, something, I don't know, we didn't even open them up. Uh, some little dolls, some little plushes, uh, this one's for my unborn son right now, and we got my daughter draft, it's about this tall, which was a little more expensive, but that's the one she chose, chose this one. It was a nice little booth with a bunch of little stuffed animals or whatever. Oh, see? That little giraffe. Boom. Not that you guys really care, but I thought it was cute. My wife thought it was cute, so we got those expensive-ass things. Um, they gave us a previews, eye zombie thing. Even though it's been out and we have the issue already. They gave us the superhero girls. What else? And this lady saw my daughter and my wife said that she just gave her 
uh, for some of you guys that have been to the cons, um, if you've seen like uh, the big Mario coin blocks or like the blocks that you destroy, I've always wondered what the hell was in them, but apparently there's just a bunch of random stuff in there. And so she gave us that, which had, look real quick if I can find this thing. What's that? Oh well, it had this weird costume, which we we're fine. We we're like, ah, that's all right. Uh, Ginormica, Susan, Monsters vs. Aliens. We actually used to like that movie when it came out. Um, so we got this in there. She gave it to us. She said that uh, she wanted it and she doesn't have a daughter, so she just gave it to us. And it also came with a little figure from Firefly. I guess the main character from there. But I don't know where he is, so moving on. Uh, WonderCon, Anaheim 2017. Like the retro look they did. Um, hopefully I could get this signed by a bunch of the people that were at uh, WonderCon. If I get three days, for San Diego Comic-Con then I'll definitely walk around and I'll see if I get some signatures that I didn't get there because WonderCon was kind of a bust for me I didn't really do anything I didn't really get anything but yeah, it was nice to just go um, my wife picked this one up fractured scary tales she has yet to read it it's like a magazine comic type of deal I think she picked it up for 10 bucks. She was like, ah, that's nice. She likes helping out the up and coming people. Uh, kind of excited for the Doom Patrol. Some of you guys uh, been watching my videos from the past. I'm a big Doom Patrol fan. So that'll be nice. Get back into some Doom Patrol. Uh, this book I picked up, funny thing about this book, I believe it's the first appearance of the Joker in Batman Adventures uh, comic. He came out, this is Batman Adventures number three. He came out pretty much in number two and number one and two, but he was like cloaked. You couldn't really tell it was him until this issue. Boom. Big reveal that it's the Joker. Half off of five bucks. All the books there were half off. Which I should have really taken advantage of. Because I had already bought this book online. It just got here and it's a lower grade than I picked it up there. And I think online I paid like six bucks with shipping and everything. So that kind of sucked. Uh, I also picked this one up there. Uh, Adventures of Superman 463. The Flash and Superman race. I think this is the second one? Third one? I can't remember. Third or fourth one. They've raced so many times. Um, my wife picked up the Babs mask. They gave it to her at the DC booth. Um, that's about it. Uh, Suicide Squad preview thing. Oh, actually, I picked this up from uh, Jerry Gaylord because I love his art. Uh, that's what he, I bought this and he tossed in the, the print. That's uh, Brian Turner's art. He hooked me up with a little, little sketch right there. And this is some of the stuff that. I don't know, I liked it, I loved it. Hopefully the story's good, hopefully it takes off, somebody picks it up. I'd love to read this stuff. And he hooked me up with a sketch in the back. The franchise. Pretty dope, Logan. And that's about it. Um, 
didn't really get anything else. Like I said, it was a bust. WonderCon was a bust this year. But still happy I, happy I went. Um, I'm excited that I found these books for the price that I did, for the condition that they are they're in. Really nice. I'm happy about it. Uh, I really should have taken more advantage of uh, the offers because they had a what if uh, Wolverine killed the Hulk and what if Venom um, possessed the Punisher. Yeah, that's what it was. And both of those, well, the Wolverine was kind of beat up, but the Punisher one was really nice. And the price was under eBay prices. So uh, hopefully I can find it out in the wild. But if not, I'll probably just pick it up on eBay prices because I really want them. My collection. Uh, that's it. Really don't have anything else to show. Um, the next couple of clips are just uh, us walking around uh, showing a couple cosplayers. And I was trying out my GoPro but we didn't charge it enough so it died on us but um hopefully you guys enjoy and i'll see you back here in a bit with another pretty big comic haul all right take care guys